Um, right, okay, good. Uh, so, uh, Alex Hall, thank you. My pleasure, Andrew. Yeah, no, I'm very excited to be here. Four terms already. Yeah, quite right. Yeah, uh, Andrew so, Yes, well remembered. Yeah. Uh, I think when we first met, I say when we first met, you selected me. Mm, when I first from, selected you. From a crowd of many. Mm. Um, it was really much guess, guess the name. Oh, did we do that guess for quite a while? Surname. Oh, it was the whole show, wasn't it? Yeah. Pretty much a good hour or so yeah, of guessing did, the name. Did anyone get it? Uh, no, we got close. Yeah. Close. Miles Jupp, I think. It's a, t it's a difficult surname. It is. I, and I let myself down. I didn't really, I, sort of, I think I said it got cut, but I didn't really like it. Oh, because? Because uh, not enough people can guess it. Yeah, it's not a guess. It's, it's, it's oh, not no, a guess. I, one. I, don't, I don't like it either. Um, Zabrovnik was the best guess. Oh, yeah. I believe. Yeah. <laughs> which, which was kind of entertaining. Um, so thank you. Thank you That's very much. Right. What I'm going to do at this stage, I'm going right. to kneel down as you talk to me now. I'm yes. I'm going to put lots of ball bearings in a... Uh, uh, measuring cup. Right, and we, we've established the approximate milliliter capacity is about 900. And that's exactly right. In yeah. the show, which yeah. is it's quite a few. It's not. It's not bad. It's more than a pint, less than a liter. Yeah, it's it's, it's nearly two pints. Yeah, just under a shade under. But yes, yeah, so it's a nice sound effect for you. There it is. Look, we've got a on that. All bearing. That is chain going in. That is fantastic. Um, so outside of my random selection of questions, where did the concept? Of uh, Marshall Black Butterfly come from? Well, I think I did a show last. I did do a show. You think? Yeah, I think I did a show <laughs> last year. It may have happened. Which was quite a stationary. It was more like a play, and I didn't change it every night. A any night, it was just what it was. Yeah. And I got a bit bored because it was just me talking. It wasn't really any interaction. And I wanted to do the opposite of that. And last year I had no props. Right. This this year I've got. I had to buy a van okay. to contain the props. So, so I've come so you've to gained a van. Yeah, I've gained a van. For a show, that's good. For a show, yeah. My wife was, my wife was pretty chuffed. <laughs> and um, <laughs> and I, I wanted to do something where there's more spontaneity and more mucking about. Yes. And also, I do love the Rube Goldberg machines, which this show is based around. Yes. Which um, I really, that's a genuine... And you'd, you'd probably say, with it, so this evening, at the Bachelor Arts Centre, we've got a room with maybe 50 or so people, approximately, perhaps, um, work in progress, all of which must have really come across the concept of ma mousetrap. I think but everyone, everyone, human nature likes mousetrap. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's hard. I can't think of anyone that dislikes it. Yeah. Um, but I, but I, I dislike, like, the OK Go music video. I agree. I dislike yeah, it okay. because too, you're too not there. Mechanic, well, yeah, and also you just, I just suspect there are cuts in it, and, and also you're watching other people have fun, but you, you're, just, <laughs> you're just a voyeur, whereas hopefully if you do it, if you see it being made in your, front of your eyes, and lots of people like yourself are involved in it, yes. then it's hopefully a better more joyful process, that's the idea. And it is, and then, you know, again, think about, this is obviously making its way to Edinburgh. And there's, there's not too many shows that really bring the audience into part of that show, and actually part of the, the outcome as well of the show. Yeah, you did, you'd had a very important role to play, and, and it was your area that... Um, failed. Failed, first. yeah, but it wasn't yes. your fault, it was my fault. I was thinking maybe a... a well, what, what potato is that? that we use today. Are you thinking maybe a heavier... I'm thinking a bit of a slightly larger potato. Yeah, bacon, the trouble is with a bigger potato. potato is that there's more potential for that potato to ruin it could. the rest Wait. of the machine. Yeah. Wait, yes. Um, or no, it's, it's a valid suggestion, I think. Well, it's, it's, it's not unreasonable. No. But it was, no, it was great, and, and good to be... <laughs> good to see it. Um, would you, what percentage would you say it worked this evening? Well, I'd say the machine worked 80%. Yes. I'm going to go for 80 That's And the comedy round. worked about 60 Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I disagree. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's an interesting show because it's not just a man talking. It is difficult to focus the audience when I'm trying to do jokes. Yes. It's quite an interesting challenge. Um, but one I don't really mind. I mean, I, I, I don't mind it being not straight comedy, you know, and the yeah. bits which don't necessarily work. I don't really mind. And, you know, you finished up with that show last year, which you thought... You know, it's, it's fun, yeah, fine, fine performance, but this is the opposite end of the scale, you'd say, and it's yeah, that really drew you into the concept. And you thought, yeah, this will be something a bit different. Well, that's the plan. I mean, it's course. interesting. I think my agent will have a different view. I think he wants it to be funny every night and for every punchline to hit to land home. And I kind of feel like with this show, it can't work like that. It can't be a situation where every punchline works because it's got to be different every night. So we'll we'll probably fall out over that. <laughs> Only for a few weeks. Yeah, yeah. You know. Brilliant. Okay, next question. Yes, um, we didn't start with, hello, how are you? Oh, hello, how are you? I'm, I'm very well, but yeah, that too. was my question to you. Oh, really. right, fine. No, but yes. I think that's the question you're meant to... Respond um, with an equal measure. Yeah, well, the correct answer for how do you do is how do you do. Correct. Fantastic. Mm. Um, if you could choose, uh, would it be right or left? left. Mm. 
Yeah. Politically. Uh, always politically left. No, politically, I have no idea. Bang down the middle. I did do one of those things on the internet where you, they tell you who to vote for. And right. I turned out I was, I was left. You're a bit left or very yeah, left. Very left. Very, well, very green. Mm. So left and then up. Mm. So north, west. I sort of do 3D politics. Okay, always. Yeah. Yeah. See, you know, it's, it's, this is the only way forward, really, isn't it? It's the future. Yeah. It's the future. Of I can sit down with this bit, this bit of the interview. Yeah. Yeah, this bit with the two pages. Yeah. Me, frantically scribbling away. Um, yes, okay, so we've established. I think, I think top left is not so. Yeah. Not too shabby, top left. Top le yeah. Upper left. Upper left. Mind. Yeah. That region. Yeah. General area. Good. Um, your favourite word? I think it's just egg. I think egg. just because it's so nice. Uh, is egg. egg, you know, is it a good substance? As well? No, I hate it, but I just like the word. I think egg is so, because it's not really, I don't even know where it came from. Mm. I know, I, you know, I meant to know about language. I did classics and stuff, but I don't really know where egg came from. Egg. It's one of those words, the more you think about it, think, that is a weird word. It is. Puddle is my favourite. Mm. Puddle. It's not on well, our spirit, Someone really, is spotted it? it and thought, puddle. Puddle, yeah. Don't get you it think either. it should be called like a splash or something? Well, well, yeah. Split or something. Yeah, splish. I think I prefer egg to puddle, so I'm going to stick with egg. Egg wins. Unless you want... You, no, 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 no. You we can, can try this into a, me again a, a relative, you know, uh, can add an element of competition. Yeah, no egg. I'm going to stick with egg. Egg over puddle every time. Eggy. I mean, you can use it a lot. Puddly. There's a lot of mm, puddling. Mm. No, that's an exist. Puddleage? No. Egg. Egg is egg. eggs away for Egg. Well, you've... Egg. You know, it's good to have a favourite. Um, yeah. So if... It was favourite sandwich next. Is it egg? No. Good. No. I it's, can't um, stand it personally. It's egg and... Uh, no, meat. Egg and meat? Yeah. Any type of meat? Nope. Just egg and meat. Well, maybe Any meat will do. Ideally lamb. Mm. Egg and lamb, is that not a mm. traditional combination? No, it's not. It's never been done. It's a bit left, uh, top left. Yeah. Egg, lamb, cress, salami Ooh. and peanut butter. So there's a lot of meat. Yeah. Bit of egg and a bit and, of... and also I'm allergic to peanuts, so there's a bit of it's a, a dangerous sandwich. With, yeah, it is. Um, if yeah. you were to choose, and I'm sorry, also I'm a vegetarian. Right, so, yeah. sort of controversial. Mm. Is that I'm a left not thing? Very committed. It's a green thing. Yeah, I don't eat meat. Okay, so just every day. So you probably just take the meat out. I, and then eat. Yeah, I'll eat it tomorrow. So right. it's every other day, really. It, it can keep. Yeah, usually. Mm. Um, if you had that sandwich, big if. It is big if. Yeah. A bit of egg, maybe left mm. over afterwards. Uh, what shape would you choose? Oh, I wouldn't mind a spherical. I don't think there's enough sandwich. spherical sandwiches. Well, spherical food, isn't it? I had two mini baby bells today. Too many? How two, many? No, two. Two. Two Sorry. mini baby bells. Too mini. I had too many mini baby bells. Right. So two being too many mini. Yeah, I should have had one. But they were as close to spherical as I've had recently. Full Edams are spherical. <sighs> yeah. You have bowling balls in your yeah. um, in your show. Would you consider switching a one for an Edam? No. A full Edam? No. Too dangerous? Yeah, and just the refrigeration required, I think, over the course of a month. Yeah, tricky. Mm. You can only get one per, uh, per, per month, really. Exactly, yeah. Allocation, bit of a problem. Uh, do you have a favourite chair? No. No, 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 no. I, equal... I wouldn't be able to put my chairs through that. You know, it's same with children. I mean... You do, though, don't you? Yes, it's my eldest son. Thomas. Mm. Yeah, but that's, yeah. you know, understandable. Yeah, I've just known him longer. Mm. Mm. And, um... Do you think he's suitable to take over the mantle of, uh, the, you know, the horn? horn. Mm, there are quite a few horns, luckily. We're fine, because I've got two brothers who've all got children, but there's only one other male one. Right. Um, I think he should be fine. Do yeah. you think he could lead them, uh, if necessary, in a family-based revolt? In a feud? Yeah. Ooh. Mm. Uh, yeah, if the family yeah, was to split pretty, one Christmas. He's pretty violent. Right. And he's quite aggressive. So, yeah, probably. Did he get that mm. from you or from mum? I don't know. I haven't seen him for years. Oh, mm. right. Mm. Your son. Hmm. I hear him. Right, often. Hmm. Uh. I think I know where he is now. Okay. He's in the up, upper, up left, top left top area left. of the house. Top left. Yeah. That's he's where you should keep him. Beavering away. Um, silk or cotton? That's a big one for me. Mm. Um, so know. it's Doc Cotton, is it, or Robert Kilroy, Kilroy silk. silk? Yeah. And Kilroy is a good interview, but... They're both horrible people. I've never met Doc Cotton. I've never met Doc Cotton. Um, or the actress, Jude Cotton. No. Silk. Silk. Yeah. Left again. Yeah. You know. Yeah, he's, he's very left wing, isn't he? Robert he seems Shaw, to so. get, he's, he's one of those guys that gets bang on to the point, yeah. I think. But um, no guff. Silk, please. No guff. Silk, please. good choice. Yeah. Um, that is, you know, I think that's a reasonable, reasonable mm. reason why. <sighs> it's more, you know, why not, really? Good. Yeah. Good. This is to kill, isn't it? We're killing one of them. Oh, oh, well. I was going to go maiming. Oh. Maiming. 
you know, mm. could, I think silk could operate with one arm, but mm. cotton not with one not with one leg. No. Okay. Well, our main. So Maimon Kill, your choice. Cotton and silk. Which one would you? And I have to do this. Well, you could put someone else up to it. Okay, I'll, pa I'll pay Steve Claridge to maim Rob, Robert Kilroy okay. Silk. Steve Claridge used to live in Fareham, uh, where yeah, I exactly. the local betting shop well, once to go. do my paper round. Yeah, former Millwall player. Absolutely, mm. Portsmouth. Could fund yeah. it. So yeah, so he's going to maim Silk. And the um, appendage? Uh, anything. Free, free, free yeah. choice. Yeah. What's the best interview you've ever had? Um, could be anything, really. Yeah, and that's def it's going to include this. Right, that's a mm. genuine compliment. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I think it is. Well, this isn't the best one, but, right. but I have included it. You've had it, had other interviews, so this technically is within yeah. that batch. I reckon I've been interviewed eight times. Eight? Wow, I'm ex exclusive. Exclusive. No, I don't know how many times. Uh, I've not had any, many that I've enjoyed. I have enjoyed this, right. Andrew. So far. Yeah, so far. Um, could, could go either way. I did, my show last year was all about lies, and in all the publicity I lied about myself and said I'm in the army or said I'm a jazz, you know, drummer or... F former footballer or Eurovision star mm -hmm. and nearly every local interview I did they just believed all the lies right. which is sort of, sort of funny but mainly just really awkward mm. and I had to just say oh no I didn't no that's not that was a joke right. what's the best lie you've ever come up with? <sighs> I mean at school I said my middle name was just J Alex James J Horn James J yeah James J right. it's actually James Jeffrey with a J and I was very ashamed of that um, and I, they believed that Everyone believed that and still do until they hear this. So um, that was the most, that was the longest lie. Right. Sustained, I lied to, sustained lie. Yeah. Really? I lied to my son Tom that the number seven doesn't exist. Mm. It's a so I kind of thought, what's, you don't really need seven. Do you dislike other prime numbers? <laughs> How do you feel about 23? Don't like it. There you go. You should probably tell yeah. him that too. Okay. Save it. Yeah, he knows about 23, though, because of Beckham. That's, that's, one of his, that's why he chose it, I think. Yeah. Beckham likes primes. He always, always has done. Same number of children. Mm can't help himself. Yeah. He can only steal in price. Number of toes. Yeah. Shocking. Um, <clears throat> have you ever had a, a lie that's become out of control? Interesting. You've presented a lie. Mm. It started off quite whimsical. Mm. Maybe to get you something you've gained. And then oh, it's escalated. I mean, I do so many, so many small lies all the time. Like I lie. I mean, I've been telling... I've talked about this on stage, but I've been telling Sainsbury's for years now that I haven't got an extra card. Right. And I, just, I do. I've got an empty extra card. Empty? Yeah. So you've got one I'm keeping you just it clean. don't use it. Yeah, I'm beating, beating the system. Mm. So yeah. they, don't know, they don't send you anything? Underground. No, 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 no. Just I've got the card card. and they will not... Swipe that? Yeah. They won't beat that. Mm. And I will not get any um, benefits. No. Tesco? Yeah, same again. Same again. Club so, card. So you collect points cards? Yeah, I've got four or five Nero cards just... No stamps. No. Have you got Have you got a Nero card? No. No. Yes, do you I want do. one? Yeah, I say yes. Right. And then they offer to stamp it. You say no. No. Not interested. Well, no, I do get the stamp, and then I just so you've got take it home. several with one stamp on. Mm -hmm. So you could combine those one day. I'm, I don't know what the T's and C's are on that. I'm try I'm tempted to take out insurance, or I think, or setting up a company that sets that gives oh, you insurance on lost Nero cards. Or you know, Nando's are mm. quite quite. You big nearly now. finished it, and then you lose it. Yeah. Well, that's all right. You're covered. With so you, horn insurance. So you get you know, horn insurance. minimum quarter of a chicken back. Yeah. Um, or a, something baked from, from Nero. Uh, favourite condiment? Hmm. Could it go with egg? Mm, interesting favourite condiment. I mean, a gen the genuine answer is mayonnaise. I mean, I really love mayonnaise. Egg-based? At the, based? At the egg wedding, based? we had mayonnaise and everything. Egg-based, exactly. Or egg-paste, egg I think. Right. It's a full term. Um, I really like mayonnaise. I mean, it's just so nice. It's like... It's a dream. It's like a really nice it's dream. Really, just a thick dream. Yeah, just. I had, and you were there, Biscoff. Ah, oh, mm. liquid in fact, gold. I've still got that in the front seat of my car. How have you not eaten? Well, have I've you been talking more? about it till this moment. So, Biscoff is could be, is that a second best to? Uh, yes, to mayonnaise, egg? Biscoff, and then Primula cheese spread, the prawn version. The, Shrimp. The, the tube. Yeah. Yeah, I can. Yeah. You can knock back a tube in no yeah. time at all. I imagine. Brush your teeth. And then eat that right. with the same system. Mm. Uh, Squirt it onto a brush. You spent years yeah. perfecting the technique. I roll at the end of the toothpaste. You've got to have a system. Yeah. You know, and no messing around. You know, after all, you don't get any benefit from Sainsbury's. You know, so you've got to get every exactly. last squeeze out of the, out of the, out of the, out of the primula. Yeah. Or, or the, or the uh, toothpaste. What's nice is that I can see the questions coming up, and I'm looking forward to some of them. Good. I like just why. 
Uh, well, we we sort of covered that earlier, but I'd yeah. like to go back. I think you should always just drop in a why. You should. Mm. Um, or why not, as mm. you mentioned previously. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, we're, we're nearly the end of the first A4 page. How I much? know, and there's only one other. Oh, cool. So um, it's going to be a really short show at this rate, um, but that's okay. Yeah. Short is sometimes good. And um, when did you first find out you could measure uh, precisely six foot three well, with your span? There's a rumour that your span is the same as your height. This height. is a rumour that is untrue. Untrue. Your wingspan is roughly the same as your height. So you are how tall? I'm six one and a half. My wingspan is six three. Okay. I'll test out my dad. He's six one and a half. And You'll I'll test that by asking him to get his span. Are you, I'm Should not saying that all six foot one and a half people are six foot three. I'm just saying your span is different to your height. No, I think it's worthy testing. Your Span. Do you want to measure your span? Let's try a span measure. I, I would this is say live action spanage. I would hazard to guess that your span is going to be six four. Okay. Here we go. The difficult thing about measuring the span is that <coughs> it's just to get a guy. You need it's a two person measuring job, not including the person whose span is being measured. That's difficult. But I could grip. Well, one. you can you can need to force that into the end nail to an extent. And as wide as you can. Nice. Is that what? It's fairly sorry. Okay, interesting. Your span is 6'2", so your span is shorter... Shorter than my height? Yeah. Science. It's like the, um, you know, the man, the... What's that it? man. What's it, what's it called? The Vitruvian man. Right. And you know the, the Da Vinci Vitruvian man? Yes, of course. Into, yes. Yeah. So that's not quite right. Mm. Does that mean I'm broken? No, no, no. Could I be imperfect. better? Imperfect. Yeah. Is it better to be imperfect than perfect? No, no, much better to be perfect. And how's being perfect working out for, I'm, some, for I'm perfect not, people? I'm one, yeah, I'm not perfect. No. I think... Um, What's your... Uh... Pitt is perfect. Right. Pitt. Cruise yeah. is perfect. Sure. Beckham is perfect. And that's it. No others. They're the three. And only men. Yeah. So it all... <laughs> that's it. There was a girl I saw recently who I thought she might be, but she wasn't. Uh, it was I measured her span. Distance. Nowhere near. Nowhere. Wow, she's maybe only if you're in the sixty percent club. Yeah, it's shocking. Um, <clears throat> so least favorite condiment. Hmm. Now, and this is controversial. I'm going to say mayonnaise. Ooh, favorite. Re I've least really favorite. gone off it since the. Uh, I'm quite. I am quite the, fickle, but I just find it very cloying in the mouth. Since that liquid biscuit. Yeah. Well, just and that I don't like biscuit either, but mainly mayonnaise. I just can't. Oh, I don't like it, mm. and I, I'm against it. Would you ban it if you were ever in charge? Would I? Of the condiments? Would I? Yeah. Yes. Would yes, I would. Do you think um, Thomas could could take that over? Thomas your, Cook? No, not Thomas Cook, the, oh. the, the holiday guy. Yeah. Thomas, uh, your, your, your first book. Oh, I, Thomas Horn, yeah. Um, T-H. Mm, he yeah. would... He would... Would he revel in I that? Don't he doesn't like anything. He doesn't like ketchup. What's wrong with him? I think it's diabetes. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know what diabetes is, but I mean I've heard of it. But I don't. I think it's some ketchup not, based. Not great. No. No. Are you diabetic? I'm not. Okay. It's not yet. Not yet. No. Not, it can not, come on. It could. I've I think got it's, all yeah. my feet. Have you? Mm. Both? Is it a case of both? I think you tend to lose the one first. Hmm. I'm just saying you'd probably say I've got both my feet rather than I've got all my feet. No. All. Okay. Yeah. No, like I've never thought of a situation where I've had to describe having both of my feet. Okay. I've only ever said I've got all of my hands, all of my feet, all of my ears. That's another area where we differ, Andrew. Right, sorry. Mm. No, that's I'm right. Not, I'm not going to be sorry, I'm going to continue I would being say, perfect. I don't even say both, with, even if it's more than two. Like, I always talk about both my children, even though I've got three. Ooh, that's... Yeah, it's not... Who's missing out in that, in that situation? One of the ones, one of the middle ones. What, what, the, the middle one. It begins one. with B. Right. Brian. Brian. Betty. Barry. 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 Great. Have you ever broken a bone? Have I? Yeah. No. <clears throat> Why not? It's, it's careful uh, behaviour. It's soft furnishings. It's uh, bendy bones. Ah, we had them, them put in. Father put them in. Right, that's good. When we were 12. What were thinking? Yeah, and then just uh, gaffer. Ooh, gaffer outside. them up when you wake up. Gaffer up your limbs. Mm. Off El you go. Elbows first. Always, yeah. Oh, your father's a GP? I, I learned this evening yes. from the show. Yeah, that's not true. Good. Another no, line. he is. He was. He was a GP. <coughs> General practitioner. Plenty of stories to bring home. Yes. Yeah. He's seen uh, most of my good good friends' penises. Right. And ben and Joe from the horn section. He's seen their penises because he was their GP. Okay. So he's uh, checked had them. To, had to, you know, part of the gig, really, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Is it a prerequisite of being in the band to um, show your dad your penis? It, it, I think that's more coincidence. Right. Yeah. It's not essential. No. Although they have all. Yeah. Uh, strange, that isn't it? Mm. Mm. Never mm. thought about that before. 
He, uh, first name Hugh, Dr. Hugh Horn is what was his name was in the, in the practice. Fantastic doctor. Yeah. Doctor name. Yeah. Um, does he know any doctor, doctor jokes? No, although my son's favourite joke is, well, my eldest son's favourite joke is, knock, knock, who's there, doctor, doctor who. My middle son, who's three, doesn't understand it, so he goes, knock, knock, who's there, mister, mister who, you just said it. Right. Got on like that. That's good. Yeah. Could take on the, uh, the show one day. Yeah. Good. Mr. Who. Mr. <laughs> it's got a future. Um, have you ever broken a plate? Oh, oh. Uh, In anger think. or by pure accident? Well, if, 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 um, if I'm honest, which I'm not, which I'm not, but I did break, I've got, I did a program called We Need Answers on BBC4, yes, which nobody indeed. watched, and so it was decommissioned. And the prizes on that was, was uh, always a We Need Answers, We Need Answers plate or a We Need Answers something that rhymes with plate. We gave away... Right. Uh, gates. We yep. gave away freight. Uh, I don't think we did. We, we gave away a crate. 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 We gave crate away um, some good. pate. Is a sort of joke one week. Not very good. Uh, and I got to keep two of the plates. Okay. But one I smashed about six months ago, and now I'm very worried about the other one. Mm. But I have displayed it on a plate holder, which ah. I quite like. Those things. Did you go to a specific store for that? Yes, and I got it pretty much straight away. There's a um, shop in <laughs> Amersham. Right. Odds and ends. And I said, "Do you have a plate holder?" And they said, "Yes." What type would you like? Cool. Uh, Would you like to promote, promote that uh, shop? I can't remember what it's called. Okay, but Amersham. Mm. Amersham, near the station. Yeah, if you want new plate holders. But then I found more in a... There's another one in a shop called Pierce's Hardware Store in Chesham. Right. They, they sell... I stumbled across them. A lot so, of hardware in the show. Yes, I, I spent a lot of time in Pierce's, Timpson's, Wix, and eBay. eBay. Are eBay. you looking for an endorsement from any of those four companies? All four. All four. All so four. if eBay could send you some well, stuff, mm. maybe some credit. I uh, something, yeah. Be happy with that. I mean, what I need is, is there much I need? I wouldn't mind a DIY, like a workbench, like a Black & Decker workbench. Right? Black & Decker workbench, number one. Yeah. Right. You can get some for like fifteen ninety five. So, yeah, so they, they're not going to miss that. No, they've got plenty, haven't they? <sighs> a shop full. Um, have you ever broken a heart? I don't. I doubt it. Good. Yeah. I think you should. Very be. inexperienced in that department. In the so, breaking. pretty much... Met the right one, got crack, married. Crack on. Brilliant. Yeah, heart intact. I don't think so. Good. No. You, and same with mine. Never. Not been. No one's ruined you. No. That's, you know. I mean, I broke someone's arm. Right, as opposed to your own. Mm. But not heart. No, just a, just a quick, will that, will that go? Oh, dear. Oh, it appears yeah. it did. It was just a stamping situ situation. That's good. Um, I'm going to skip my milk question. Okay. Because I don't like it. Yes. Have you ever sold scrap metal? And now, funny story here. Right, so um, good, good. When I was 14, yep. my father sold me a car. A car. Uh, a Merc. Nice. For GP, 20 nice. grand. Right. 14. Yes. Right. Yeah. And uh, it, was, it was a debt a debt situation. Right. And then four years later, I sold the Merc. At 18. At 18 good for nice. four grand. Right. So I was 16 grand down. So I sold all the metal in the house right. for 15 grand. Uh, so I was one down. Yep. And then I found a thousand pounds in Safeway. Ah, yes. In a Long till. RIP Safeway. Yeah. In a, t a till. A there. till. Good. And uh, so I was up, but then I had to, I had to spend some time. But there was bail because mm -hmm. of that, which my dad paid for, which is 20 grand again. So we're back ah. to square one. And then, um, I don't know if you know how bail works. Only Monopoly bail. Yeah, I don't know how it works. No one does. Even the judges in the end. So they said the bail is 20 grand. So my dad gave 20 grand to me. Okay. So I came out on bail, you've, you've gave the 20 back to my dad, and we're even. Happy days. Do you re reminisce ever? With with father. Oh, yes. No. Yes. No, always looking forwards. Tough one, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Favourite decade? 1640s. Mm, mm. Favourite year from that decade? 16, six, 1645. 45. Yeah. Middling, just, yeah. just to think everyone's thinking, oh, good, we're halfway. Mm. Halfway through. Yeah. Memories of the... Um, 1640s. Mem yeah, memories of, well, mem memories of the 1630s. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, reminiscing. Yeah. That, that, was the, that was a sort of, um, yeah, a bit of nostalgia there. Thinking, oh, I remember the 30s. Mm. But I just think the 1640s, 1645, classic time. Um... With respect to taking a, a show to, to Edinburgh, mm -hmm. someone hasn't ever been ah. and taken a show, a who's, debut show. Who are we talking about? It could be me here. Oh, right. 
bit of a bit of an issue. Okay. When you went for the first time. If, isn't it? Mm, it's booked. Okay. So it could it is still an if. But for me though, if I went for the first time. If you were going for the first time, as yeah. you once did. If I did, yes. No, looking, when you're right. Looking back. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, hindsight. Mm-hmm. What top, should top, top should, tip, yeah. The worst thing I did on the last day of the festival, I was quite giddy. I, I had a box full of flyers, which I hadn't handed out because I was doing my own flyering, but I lost um, interest in that. And I dropped the box. I emptied it from Waverley Bridge right. at about sort of three in the morning, shook them out like snow. And uh, they just went down as one big mass splat mm. about 14 yards from a policeman. Right. This, is, this is true. And he um, shouted off at me, Oi! And I ran, right, good. but uh, my name was all over the flyers. Yeah. So uh, I then had a phone call uh, to my agent saying, um, your client cannot drop his property all over Edinburgh like that. Mm. And I said, well, I was just flying. So, so it, was, it was fine. Again, it was a bail situation. Mm. Mm. So you've got to have a good, a good flying technique yeah. method. Yeah, that, Ni- 99% success. of that story was true. Okay, good. Yeah, 13 yards. Mm. Mm. But another, another prime. Yeah. Um, do you have a, do you have um, any really very good friends? Steve Nicholl, the former Liverpool guy, I, is not not one. He's, not He's one. just somebody I remember watching when I was little. Fonda. Uh, Henry Fonda, again, not a not a close friend. I don't know the best way of doing this. Do I just go through people until I find one? People you don't know until you find one. Piers, Piers Piers Morgan. No, no. Piers. Not... Maybe I'll stick with Piers for a bit. Piers. There was a guy at my school called Piers Tomlinson. We okay. got on quite was well. He, he was all right. Yeah, but we haven't yeah. seen each other since. That's probably his fault. Uh, Gary. Do I know any Garys? Gary, what? No. No? Phil. I'm, I'm becoming friends with a guy called Phil. Becoming? Yeah. How's that I think Phil might be... Has he got it in him to we play step t- up? We played tennis two weeks ago. We are playing tennis on Father's Day. Okay, that's done. Um, do you have a favourite deli counter? Did. Oh, no. Yeah. That sounds like Yeah, it was Sainsbury's, Kensal Green. I used to go and get hot chicken. You used to get hot chicken from yeah. it? No points, obviously. No, no. And then I realised what it was doing to my body. I had, I, I'd ballooned. You just know that phrase, if you eat any more of them, you'll become a chicken. Or, you right. know, if you, and that, that, was, that is actually a, not just a truism, it's a true, it's true thing. If you do eat too much of a substance, you do become that substance. What percentage chicken were you becoming? I was nigh on a chicken. <sighs> was, we're talking top, top yeah. 80 percentile. Had, there was a beak. There was a wing. Mm. There was, uh, you know, the eggs were, you know... I didn't need to buy eggs, let's just put it that way. Yeah, yeah. useful. Um, Favourite olive? Mm, I guess the one in Popeye. That is the Because she's, she's a classic. Yeah. Classic I think olive. she's just sort of um, so thin that um, you think, yes. Yes, please. Okay, good. Mm. Um, your, your attempts to become the world's oldest man. Ongoing. Ongoing. Mm-hmm. Still, uh, still going on. Well, now that I've given up the chicken, yeah. I, I, uh, Did you worry? A chicken chicken point of your life. Yeah, that's one of the things. I mean, I do genuinely want to live for a very long time, because I think, why not? Absolutely. I'm just There's curious about what's going to happen in the future. Mm. I've also put a lot of money in myself becoming the oldest man in the world. Right. Uh, I, uh, yeah, I don't worry too much, but I, 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 my, I'm, quite, I'm very healthy, Andrew. Good. Yeah. I, I'm very careful. Again, the broken bones thing and all yeah, that. Mainly I, uh, vegetarian. It's quite healthy. Yeah, but I eat meat, so that's useful too. That's covered. Yep. So, yeah. Good. Yeah. Um, Koplinski pops up every now and again. Yeah, still trying to tell people she's very tall. That's another of those lies, mm. yeah. What's that, how's that relationship going? Ever met Koplinski? No, I don't know if Koplinski knows about it. I'd quite like it if some... I think she does. One day she found out I that I'm does. the guy who's trying to make everyone think she's tall. Mm. Victoria Corrin is an interesting one. Right. I had a relationship with her where I wrote to her about... She was presenting a programme on the... BBC about uh, words. She was trying to encourage people to get words in the dictionary. Mm-hmm. And I wrote to her saying that my gran used the word honk to mean money. Yes. And I encouraged everyone I knew to email Victoria Corrin and the BBC. And thousand, it kind of a viral email went around and lots of people contacted her. And then she sent me an email back saying, can you stop doing this, please? But very politely. Okay. But now I sort of know her a bit. And uh, I've done things... I, I was a pest for her and now I think we're not quite colleagues and definitely not good friends but I would love to be friends with her. I think she's amazing yes. but that's quite nice that a little relationship has developed there good yeah. so positive yeah I'm still very embarrassed about what my previous behaviour but it was you know it's, a, it's good to have progression yeah, yeah. You know, we've got to progress um, what's the best party you've ever been to now then now then now then 
there's a few out there, isn't there? If I say now then three times, does that mean I'm quoting no, Saville? No, no, no. It felt like it. It's a By bit the third. Savile it was a bit Saville, wasn't it? Yeah. Saville was the first person I saw after my first son, Thomas, was born. Born at Stoke Mandeville Hospital, came out the door. Savile. There's Saville, because right. he sort of funded a lot of it. He was always there. Hanging around. That used to be a really charming story. It used to. Hmm. It's taken a very different light recently. Yeah. Have you told it recently? I, I now just say it like this. I say it in podcasts rather okay, than good. in dinner parties. Well, it's safe because not many people listen. So. I'm going to go for my joint 30th and 60th party with my father. Oh, excellent. I am 35. My dad is 65. My son is 5. My dad's dad is 95. We, we every 30 years, spawn. And uh, we shared a 30th and 60th, and that was excellent. And my son was in my wife at the time. Um, Favourite book? I guess it's my diary from when I was about 10. Very earnest, right. very poorly written, but hilarious for those reasons. Is it going to make a comeback, the diary? I mean, I've got some awful diaries. I, I did diaries till I was about 21. Mm -hmm. Until I did anything interesting, I did diaries. Right. And then I started doing interesting things, no diaries. No. Favourite temperature for cooking in a microwave? Full, full whack. Full Level whack. nine, is it? Level nine, depends on the microwave. Well, my one. Full 800 for me. Uh, yeah, 800 W. Yeah, 800, yeah. 800 W's is the... Yeah, you know it doesn't stand for watts? No? No. It's W's. It stands for... Um, wind we, we, no, I think widows. We, 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 widows, yeah. We're, weirdos. Right, 800 widows. Yeah. Let's cook this pasta. I think it is widows, you're right. It's 800 widows. The, 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 the heat, strength. It's a bit the like horsepower. It's widow widows. power. Yes. Yeah. Well, we've just we've cracked that one. Yeah. Good. I'm glad. Um, right. Almost there. Thank you again. Oh, thank you. No, seriously. Sit, no, um, yeah. I don't know how many random requests you get from random people saying hello. Pod, so. I do genuinely love podcasts for this reason. You know, I think if you do a radio thing, things have to be edited and there are layers. Podcasts, you just do it, whack it out there. People can listen to it or not. It doesn't yeah. matter. It's brilliant. Well, without sounding too much of a bit of a dick, um, after featuring on your uh, the, the day, mm. Alex, Alex on Breaks the News, mm. third series, midway through at the moment. Mm. Near the end, is she? Seven Episode weeks. eight coming up. Yes, next week. Of ten. Although there is a live one again. Yes. Yeah. Um, but from that, that was that's in, that inspired the RG podcast. Oh, brilliant. That was something I looked at and thought I, I mean, could do that. I didn't think I liked podcasts until I did one. Right. I just didn't really listen to them. But now I listen to them and I think they're, they're excellent. I think they're better than most radio. Hmm. Because they can, be they can be ten minutes or an hour depending on the quality. They don't have to be 28 minutes and 47. With our radio show, we do a horn section radio show, my band... And probably the quality is less because it has to be this rigid yeah. time. If it was 31 minutes, it would be better than 28 minutes. Yeah. So podcasts are superior there. Yeah. I guess there's, there's more room for um, slightly self-indulgent podcasts. But for my one, there's an edit. We talked about this when we did it, that somebody else edits it. Yes. Which means that it's not my ego yeah. doing it. And, uh, and if it's someone like you who's controlled enough, you'd probably be fine in that respect too. But I, th I think they're good. Yeah, I'd mm. say so. More of them. Yeah, Why not? they're free. You can listen to them at your will. You don't have to tune in at half six. No. It's the future. It is. I think they, the name is shit, though. I can't even think podcast. of the definition of podcast. I did listen to a Strong. program on Radio 4 by Z Helen Zaltzman and yes. a collaborator about who invented the word podcast. And it was a, it was a journalist, but it wasn't... He didn't give it wasn't a good reason. Thinking. No. Disappointing. Yeah. And look, at, look at us now. Is it something to broadcast podcast? Anyway, mm. yeah. Okay. iPod is through the iPod, is it? IPod Maybe. Podcast. I wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. But it's, you know, why, why, why not? Um, okay, great. Um, where can we see the show? Well, two shows at Edinburgh this year. Yes. So a genuine this. plug. Well, I'm doing this show, Monsieur Butterfly, at the Pleasant 2, which is a very nice room. Uh, it's former Quaker house, and it's a nice steep rake, and it fits 150 people. And it's 8.15pm in the Pleasant Courtyard, and I'm doing my show, horn, the horn section, in the upside down purple cow at 10 40, 10 50. Right. It's an hour and 10, end at midnight, that's quite nice, isn't that's it? Nice and end at tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. And did I, am I right, there was one other possible show? I'm doing a show called The Percentage Game yes. twice. Right. And that's unwritten so far, it's at 3pm somewhere. 100 in people? Gilded Balloon, yes. Yeah, so I need to sell 100 tickets. Right. They're cheap though, five quid I think. Not bad. And I use these hundred people to demonstrate percentages. Okay. So I might ask you, what percentage of the population do you think is Muslim? And, and I'm going to get all these hundred people to shift themselves around the room. Ah. And I'm going to film right. them from above. Right. So they represent. So the they're going to move into a zone, perhaps. Yeah, they're going to sort themselves into what they think 
is that percentage. And then I will reveal, they'll be given a knapsack and they go in. A knapsack? And the Muslims, in, they will say you're Muslim, and so then they will then move into the correct percentage <laughs> and they'll see how wrong or right they were. And I think the British population are generally wrong about most things like this. Like benefit fraud, people assume everyone's at it, whereas actually no one's at it, and that sort of thing. Hmm. Uh, something you've done before? No. So. No, it's, it's just, I, I see Edinburgh as, like you, I guess, as a place to experiment. A platform? Yeah, really is. and it's that sort of place. I hope I will sell 100 tickets. If I don't, it'll be a shame. But you'll still get a percentage of that amount of people. Yeah, to it would be lovely if it, it was 100. It doesn't quite work. Yeah, it needs to be 100. Good. Finally. Oh. Yes. I'll make an effort for this one. <laughs> okay, we'll do it finally. I'll do this to appease uh, Mr. Michael Bell of okay. the internet. He's one, of, one third of the podcast. Yeah. Mickey Bell. Mickey Bell, MB. Uh, Michael Bell Ding, actually, he's known as. This is Bell's question. This is, this is part of the show called... Right. Um, I'll come a bit closer to the mic for this. Ding. Okay. Yeah, it's Bell's question. Okay. Um, if? No. No. When? Which? Well, he wanted... Did? Mm. Uh, it, can was, I, it was, an, it what, was a how. how oh, I would have said how. How? March. March. Honk. Honk. Ooh. Do you? Have, have on you. On you. That's, a, that's a bell. That's well, a this is interesting, Bell, because what I've got on me, my wallet, I don't have a wallet. You have a pocket. I've got a pocket, and in the pocket I've got... Contents. There is one surprise item here, and this is a, the, my problem. I've got a £5 note. Right. Honk. A Visa credit card. Good. £20 note. Yep. A debit card, and then this. This is the problem. That is... A £10... Bank of Ireland, no. Bank of Ireland, that can't do a lot. Sterling, really. from Northern Ireland, obviously. Right. Can't shift it. Always I would rather it. not have this than have it. Yeah, this is now Always about eight it. or nine years now. Right. Can't shift it. You're not, but you keep it on you. Keep it on me? Well, I'm trying to spend it. No one wants it. Mm. They have shifted to the, to the euro. No, they, they haven't. Have not, no, not in the north. Not no, no, shifted. I mean, it's legal tender. This is legal tender, sorry. But no one wants it. I've never, can't, been. never been to Northern Ireland. Oh. I was there at the weekend. Right. Yeah. And you didn't spend it. No, I got given more of these things. So I've thrown the rest away. Difficult. I quite often throw money away. Just find Sheer it intriguing. Agony. Does that, does that how does that affect the economy? If I chuck away like for forty pence, mm. I lose money. Where do, it depends where you throw it. Bins. I literally bin them. You bin cash. Mm. Just but only. No, I have I have bin cash by accident. You know when you're very tired, you just think, oh, you just throw chuck your money away. You think what happens? To that is that really bad for the economy, or really good? Someone's going to pick it up. How? But there's the, the bin people. And they're going to pick it up and they're going to burn it. Um, that's how much. I've got £35, 10 of which is not going to be spent because it's uh, in this stupid money. That's fantastic. So I hope that answers your question, Bell. That was Bell's question. Oh, there's more cash. Hold on. That was not the end of Bell's question. Sorry, Bell. Now, this is loose change. Here we go. This is from Michael Bell of the internet. Eight pence. Wow. So 35. Did you know with coins? Yep. Do you know this trick with coins? Show me. Let's, let's see. Have you got coins on you? I have some coins. Can you get your coins out? We're going. This is brilliant. Get your five pence piece. These have to be new coins. So I've, I've, I need to have five pence piece. No, I've got the five. Do I, what, what, you need to have what a ten, do I need? a twenty, fifty, and a pound. Right. I've got old money. Uh, Twenty five right, pence. You've got twenty. That'll do. Right. Do you notice anything interesting about these coins? They they create a uh, an image. Did they not? Did you know this? Yes. Oh, I didn't know it. It's Show me. <laughs> have you done it before? I haven't put them together because I've not. I've never really got the full collection. Yeah. So there's that. Maybe like that. So yeah. If you get your coins, but there's the, the dragon. There's the dragon. There's the three lions. Which um, are leopards? Are they not? No, yeah. they're lions. Are you? So no, I, I disagree with any fact like that. Those um, QI the facts. QI facts. You're not saying fine. actually the lions on the three lions are leopards. They're not. They're lions. They're lions. Right. Good. Well, we don't have them all, but I just love that coins do this. Well, so it's a relatively new concept, isn't it? Yeah, it's brilliant. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just Google British coins, mosaic or yep. jigsaw. Jig British, the British coin jigsaw. Yeah. And, uh, you know, other nations don't really take take part in it. That's a lovely idea, though. The old pesetas there. Yeah, I don't mind a coin with it. When I was coin with a hole. 16, I think, I had a coin with a hole around my neck. I thought that one was pretty romantic. Right. Did it work out for you? No. No. Mm. Great. Baron spell. There you go. Mm. You're going 10p there. You've done well. Okay. Thank you. Did I? Did I get one of your tens? <laughs> cool. I have that. So it's now 35 pounds and uh, 18 pence 18 with pence. 10 that you can't yeah. spend to yeah. a debit card or visa. Yeah. Fantastic. How do, how do you end it? Um, I'm going to say thank you very much.
Okay, what do I say? It's a genuine pleasure. That's all um, right. You know, like I say, you must get lots of requests for people to spend a bit of time with you. I think I, sp- I say I don't have many requests for a start, but I think I would always say yes, because, uh, well, you came to me. You added me on, on the Twitter sphere, so I appreciate that. Well, we're, 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 we're mutual gratitude. Thank you. Okay, should we do a loud handshake? A loud handshake. Shall we try the from the show to see? Yeah, from Julio's handshake. So let's go Julio's handshake. It's not bad, Julio's is it? Julio's handshake. Yeah. That's a thing. Yeah. That's a thing. Yeah. That's a thing. Yeah. 